Hi friends, Nick here from Technology Lowdown. Today we're talking about how you can be using a help desk system to keep track of the tasks that you do within your home network and your kind of server data center network setup that you've got at home. Um, I have found since setting up a help desk system within my own kind of environment here, that it's so much more easier to track what I've done to fix something when it's broken or what I do, uh, the process and steps that I take to do things. And for this, I'm using a help desk system called OS Ticket. Now, if you've been around a long time, you probably have heard of OS Ticket before. It's an open source help desk solution. Um, now, by today's standards, it's not much in terms of I wouldn't be using OS Ticket if you want something which is, say, ITIL compliant. It's not ITIL compliant. Um, in fact, it's probably not really compliant with any uh, kind of uh, framework out there for IT. Um, there is apparently a new version coming, version 2, at some point, but this was in 2020 and it still hasn't come. Um, but for the most part, OS Ticket is a pretty solid system. If you go to their GitHub, you can see that it's getting updates and patches very frequently. So it's not a stale project by any means. It is continuing. Um, developers are, you know, aren't working, but um, and people are still using this system, but uh, it's just moving a little slow. Um, and when you're in the system, it can feel like it's a bit outdated, but Look, it is a pretty solid system and it works well. So I'm not going into installation steps for this. Um, in fact, when you download it, I'm pretty sure it, uh, uh, it it makes it pretty easy. If you go to support, you can get information on how to install it. Um, you can install it on, say, cPanel. If you have a software installer on cPanel, you can quite often use that to install it automatically. If you need help for OS Ticket, you can just go to the support forum. The support forum is very active. You can see here, there's lots of things within the last week here, and you will usually get a response within a couple of hours from someone. Usually it's Kevin the Jedi. Um, yeah, and you'll get all the information that you need to hopefully fix your issue, or they might ask you to give some more information because you didn't give enough in the first instance. All right, so here's the help desk solution. All right, so I've already installed it. I've customized it a little bit. I've set it up basically so I can use it the way that I need to. Um, so the way that this help desk works is basically I've got an email account set up for here so I can send an email to it and it will create a ticket from that. Or if I'm logged in like I am right here, I can just come straight in here, create a new ticket and uh, select all the relevant information and then I can open that one. So here I've got some tickets which are already in the system. Uh, if I go back to closed, we can see all the ones that I've already been doing over the course of you know the last 10 days by the looks of it here, which is how long I've been using it for. And since I've been using it, you know, I've, I've discovered that, you know, it's pretty functional. Um, there's a knowledge base here. This is where I've offloaded some of my uh, information on the network. So say for instance, I've got a number of devices, probably at least seven, maybe eight devices running within the network, um, be it virtual or um, if they're, uh, you know, a physical machine. And one of the things that I needed to do was um, document the shutdown procedure because like quite often I like, you know, run through my head, oh, I got all this equipment in the shed. Um, what's that IP address again? And I'm always trying to, you know, just backtrack, what's that information that I need? Um, so if we have a look here, I've got, you know, step one to 10 for partial shutdown. So that's the shed for everything. One to 13 for full shutdown. That's the whole house for house only, just do 11 to 13. And it just, you know, tells me what I need to do to um, shut down the, the system in the most efficient manner that I know works for my setup and from here i could just go ssh into you know the proxmox server and i'll just tell it to shut down and, and then i can shut it down uh, so obviously that's not going to work uh, at the moment but yeah it's there um <clears throat> so that's the knowledge base that i've got set up here um if i've 
I find I'm repetitively doing things at some point and I need to you know, come back to it at some point. I can just come in here. There's that command I used when I needed to flush the DNS cache that time. And I can just copy it back in. Um, or I can just do a search. Let's so go search for DNS. And yeah, there's everything to do with DNS. So uh, these are the DNS servers I use on the network. So that works there. Um, DNS cache on uh, network equipment. So yeah, this network equipment page here, I basically documented every single device I've got here. I've got a link to it if I need a link. And then what I've done here is I've created a link back to a ticket. So say this ticket here, if we open this one up, it's probably going to be this one here. So PF sense. <clears throat> so it links to this ticket here. And what I can do is I go in here and okay, there's my configuration from the 15th of uh, January. And I've got that back up there. Um, and what else have I got? So I've got, say, uh, configuration report. So the way I'm using it is I've kind of set up some basic tickets. So I say configuration report is when I'm just gathering the information to do with how I set up a system. So here I've detailed how I set up a TV head end on a Raspberry Pi with two TV tuners. And I've recorded relevant information, say so as the IP address, the Mac, um, and the username. Um, and because this is only on my network, I'm recording some other information in here, such as password, because I'm the only one with access to the system. And hey, who really cares? It's on my network anyway. So, and it's not really an important password. All right, so here I've got... Um, my uh, Pi, this is the configuration I had on there for a uh, TV channel scanner with TV head end and the TV system that I've got set up. I've got how I found the USB adapter. And then here I've got a video from Tallful Tech on um, uh, how I did that, on, on how I, I needed to install those adapters. And the other great thing about this is um, you can pretty much drag in any sort of uh, picture or file that you've got and it will automatically attach it to the uh, job. So let's see here, I've got a wallpaper. So I'm just going to drag this one in here and it's going to upload it. Well, that's a bit big. Oops. Let's just can that. There we go. Here's one. So that'll upload and it's uploaded. And then I could put some notes in here and then what that'll do is that'll just add another post just like this one here. Um, for me to go back and check to see what I did. The other neat thing about OS Ticket is I've set up all my devices in the network, say my switches, my TrueNAS, my Synology, and for all those notifications that you get from them, say for your Synology, when it runs a backup, you might uh, set it to send you an email if it ever fails. So instead of getting that to send me an email to my email account, which is already, you know, full from other important emails. I've set that up to send an email to the help desk system, and then it'll create a ticket for me based upon that. <clears throat> so an example of that is Libre NMS. So with Libre NMS, what I've done is I've created a transport rule in here to link with OS ticket using the API. And then I can click on test transport and it's going to test that one but obviously if there is an actual outage what it will do is it will create that ticket automatically for me so if we go back to here it's 340 at the moment and yeah there's that ticket test rule for 172 and there's that ticket this test alert and it created all this automatically and the benefit behind this is that I don't need to, you know, go back through my email inbox to find this one. It's all in this OS ticket. Um, and the other option is uh, I can come back to this one and uh, just search for anything that I need to. So say a year down the track, if I've got a problem with a hard drive, um, I could say come into here and look up at serial number and it would turn up. So let's say the other week I was replacing a uh, hard drive in the TrueNAS that I've got here. And basically I've had all the pictures, I've recorded serial numbers. Um, so I could come straight into OS Ticket here and I'll just go back to the tickets page. 
that serial number and here's all the tickets that have that serial number in it so install replacement drive that's a serial number sorry I installed that one then and I installed it for this ticket here install new NAS drives and on this one I've also attached say the invoice for it as well um, and I've recorded what drives are removed and say I've put these in a a pile and where I normally store disks and I'll know in future not to use that disk for anything important because it has unreadable sectors. So I've only showed you a little bit of OS ticket there but I hope you can see how it has some options for you to be able to track what you're doing within you know the IT sphere within your own uh, home environment or you could even record things in there such as what you're learning so you could be learning to uh, things to do with Raspberry Pis or and you want to record what you're learning so I put relevant YouTube videos in there or links to different documents that you've read where you can put that all in there and then it's a central place for you to go back to. For me, I find this works. I like things to be online. It, then it doesn't matter what device I'm on. I can always access uh, what I need. Whereas for others out there, you might just use, say, a Word document or a um, Excel spreadsheet to record all your device information. That's as far as you go. But for me, I just wanted to put it somewhere. So I had it there and uh, I can always come back to it at some other point. Well, if you've liked this video, please like it, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, subscribe and tap the bell to receive notifications. Thanks for watching. Bye.